현장에서 역기 곧 도착하게 됩니다. 내리실 분들은 미리 준비해 주시기 바랍니다. 女士们、先生们，列车前方停车站是。 Here we are. We have reached our intended destination, Yanji West Station. We're in the city of Yanji, the capital of Yanbian Autonomous Prefecture here in China. It's the Korean part of China, up near North Korea. You can see they've got the Chinese writing there on the left, and then on the right, Korean. So we're going to do some exploration today and just show you guys around. We're kind of right here in the center of town, and uh, there's one thing I want to show you all. There's uh, this big building here and the sign. It says Lung uh, Mian, and that is a really common type of food up here. It's cold noodles, and in the northeast of China, it's very popular. It comes from Korea. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it because the noodles are sort of rubbery, but it's definitely worth trying. And just know if you get it, if you just order it straight up, it's going to come out kind of sweet. But you can also order the unsweetened one, which I prefer. I do not like the sweet one at all. But yeah, it's definitely worth trying. Don't get your hopes up too much, though. Oh, well, a taxi driver was telling me that this place is pretty good if you want to get like Korean stuff, basically, you know, kimchi and just other like Korean specialties and Korean goods. So I'm I'm not a big shopper. But I'm gonna go in here. This is the West Market, is what that says. You can see it's got the uh, the Chinese and the Korean over there. So we're gonna just check it out, see what they've got. As soon as you walk in here, there's definitely a smell. It's not a bad smell. It's just a smell that I don't usually smell in China, and that's because here is selling a lot of Korean stuff. So uh, it's just interesting. I'll tell you, I've been to a lot of places in China, a lot of different areas. And I can tell you, the vibe up here in Yanbian, this Korean autonomous region, is very unique. And it's definitely off the beaten path. You don't get a whole lot of Western tourists coming out here, which to me, I prefer. I'm not one of these uh, sheep type of people that just likes to follow the herd. I kind of like to do my own thing and go my own way. But this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. They've got a lot of this dried fish. I'm not an expert on Korean foods. I mean, I've been to Korea and I've had a good deal of Korean food, but I'm not super familiar with all this stuff. It's a lot of like pickled, fermented stuff, I'm sure. And it's got that typical red Korean spicy flavoring on it, which I like. I really like <clears throat> Korean food and love kimchi. Like Korea a lot. Can't think of much I don't like about it. And when I went there, when I went to Korea, I actually met um, a family who grew up in China but moved to Korea. So it was weird. It was like I was hanging out with Chinese people, but they were ethnically Korean. But I was hanging out with them in South Korea speaking Chinese. <laughs> Not the most typical situation. The West Market in Yanji City, northeastern China. It's really cool seeing all the Korean writing on everything. It's such a... It feels almost like I'm in Korea, actually, to be honest. I love going to areas where the cultures kind of blend. Like, if you go to southern China, you can kind of see where China blends into Vietnam. And then up here, you're seeing where China kind of blends into Korea. And then there's other parts where China kind of blends into Russia. All kinds of good fresh stuff, dried goods. And it's got a real nice smell. It's got a fishy smell, but it's a good smell. It doesn't stink. Makes me want to try some of this stuff, actually. <laughs> I might buy some. 
Now this might look kind of weird at first, the sausage here, but this is just rice sausage. No meat, just straight up rice sausage. Over here they've got a little food stall, people getting some, uh, getting some food. If I was hungry I would try some. I had a late breakfast though, and uh, not eat hungry yet. But good food is a coming later, that's for sure. Got these people eating all this good stuff. And then over here, people selling like these uh, rice treats, sticky rice, and then some of it's got like, uh, you know, these. Everybody knows these if you know Korean food. You know these. these are great. Got all your pickled veggies and stuff over here. People lining up to get. Because this is authentic, you know, if you're a kimchi eater, you know, you know what bad kimchi tastes like, or fake kimchi. So here, you can get the real stuff. It's got to have that kind of, you know, spicy, sour, numbing kind of flavor. If you get the fake stuff, it's like sweet and disgusting, but over here, it's the real deal. Look at this, a lot of people lined up. I might be back later to buy some stuff, though. Try to get out of here if I can. I'm not sure I can get out. Too many people. And one thing I noticed when I went to Korea that I'm also noticing here is that they really like pizza and cafes. Hello. <laughs> and uh, you can see, you're just walking. You wouldn't expect to see a place like this selling like pasta, spaghetti, pizza, and selling this right here. Uh, cafe that says coffee and there you go Han's deli Korean style deli it definitely has the Korean vibe you know cafes uh, some some degree of Western foods and things like that and they make it pretty well like if you get pizza at a lot of places in China sometimes it's really bad but in Korea it was actually pretty good Here we are at the People's Park. Fresh pineapple for sale. Looks pretty festive in here. Let's see what's going on. So to give you all some rough figures, I mean, these are very approximate. This city has about half a million people, and about half of those are ethnically Korean. So, that's not exact, but that's ballpark. You'll see different figures in different places. Making this a very unique area in China, and in the world. This area has the largest number of Koreans living in it, anywhere outside of the Korean pe Peninsula. Just from the looks of that school, what would you expect that to be? Middle school, high school, university? Well, if you guessed elementary school, you would be correct. Look at the way they stack these businesses. Just one on top of the next. I think it looks awesome. Very cool aesthetic. It's very stimulating. And this one's got the old Chinese coin top. That's what that is. That's how old Chinese coins used to look. This is the university here. Uh, Yanbian University. So you got a bunch of the students out doing something. This kid just gave me a free water, which is cool. Um, yeah, this is the university. And these kids are out here doing something. I don't know what they're doing exactly, but you can see how it looks. It's quite a nice, large campus, nice facility. And the students. Alright, let's go check out Worry Mart. <laughs> 
I like that name, Wuri Mart. Korea food. Let's check it out. I need a little fuel before I hit the mountain. And it looks like this is just the place I need. It's so unusually quiet in here. I've never heard of this brand of pizza. Pizza Red Box. I just ordered one. I'm gonna give it a shot. Don't worry, I'm gonna get some real Korean food before the day's over, but this is the nearest thing. I wanted something quick before I head off to the mountain. They got these little like rectangular shaped pizzas. Well, here it is. My red box pizza is served. Well, here's what I can say about red box pizza. I'll give it about a five out of 10. The picture looks better than it tastes. I got the pepperoni one and um, it had corn on it. For some reason in Asia, a lot of places that sell pizza will put sweet corn on the pizza, which I'm not a fan of. But, you know, you gotta be flexible. If you're too picky, you're gonna have a rough time. You know, you gotta be flexible, have realistic expectations, and don't be a crybaby. But uh, it had a little bit of a sweetness to it, and the cheese, it was legit cheese. But it, had, it was kind of fluffy. It was something wasn't pure about it. So I would give uh, Red Box Pizza a five out of ten, to be honest. Well, this is it, Maoar Shan. It's a mountain here, right in Yanji City. Took a nice long taxi ride just up here to get to the main gate. I like this path, just right here in the middle of the woods. Walking on these wooden planks. And you've got a lot of people, you know, having picnics and stuff. And it's kind of crowded today, but that's okay. It's not too noisy. But it's always a great feeling to kind of get away from the concrete jungle, you know? Get out here in nature. And if you didn't know it, you can get Gatorade in China. Oh yeah. I tell you, that lady was knocked out. She was out like a light just a second ago. You just gotta keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. I don't have the best knees. I've done sports my whole life and let's just say my knees are not thanking me for it. <laughs> but I'm good. I'm, I'm good to go right now. I'm still good to go. But taking it nice and slow. Already getting to be a nice, pretty nice view up here. And we just getting started, baby. <laughs> All right, made it to the top. What a view. What a really nice view. Yanji City from up here. Now, I've been up to this region before, up here in Yanbian, and uh, Han's Coffee is a staple. It's a Korean cafe, and it's it's got a, a very unique name, but it's actually pretty good. Good atmosphere. and good coffee for the hands. Well friends, I'm happy because I have a cup of hands coffee in my hand. And that's where it belongs. And the next place is to my lips. And the waitress, or should I call her a barista, <laughs> or barista, she seemed a little cold at first. She wasn't rude, she just seemed like, you know, there was no smile and wasn't particularly friendly with the service. But when she brought me my coffee, I thanked her in Korean. But I didn't just use Korean. I used the specific dialect to this region. It's different than what people in South Korea would speak. Basically what it is, it's, the, it's a Northeastern dialect from like North Korea basically. And I used that dialect of Korean to say thanks. 
and guess what? I got a smile out of her. Actually, more than a smile. She started laughing, and I, her face almost turned red. I think I made her day, so uh, that was definitely a win. Oh, and I guess I should probably add what the dialect is called. It's called the Hamgyong dialect. My pronunciation is most likely atrocious, but that is the dialect that it is. You guys might think I'm weird, but I think this is awesome. Just that kind of rough, rundown look. I see a couple people up there doing stuff, so I guess some of those places have people living, living in them. But wow, that's that's wild. I came into this little local restaurant to eat and I'll be honest with you the menu didn't really have that many things that looked appealing to me but I just decided to try one. I mean, this place has got a lot of customers, and it's kind of, uh, it's happening in here. So I didn't want to go to some place that was totally dead and empty. So we'll give it a shot. And of course, since uh, it's doing Korea style today, uh, they give us our um, pickled uh, fermented daikon radish and uh, kimchi. Uh, this is what I decided to go with. It's the black pepper chicken curry. I didn't realize it would be quite so heavy on the onions. <laughs> I'm not big on onions, but whatever. I'll eat a few, but most of them will get picked out. So, bon appetit, my friends. Well, it's been a pretty fun day. It's been a lot of walking, good exercise, and I want to say good vibes. I really do like the feeling in this region. It's different than other parts of China, and a lot of that well, the main reason is because there is a, a form of Korean culture here, and it's pretty pervasive. And uh, so the feeling here is quite different than most parts of China. And the people were extremely laid back. They were extremely polite. It felt quieter up here, but wow, I'm kind of stuck behind the stampede here. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give my thoughts on it, and I really do like this region. And I would like to come back and I'd like to visit some of the smaller towns out here that nobody ever really gets to. You know, Yanji is uh, it's the capital of this region, this Korean autonomous region. But um, there are, you know, of course, a lot of little towns and stuff, little specks on the map that people have never heard of. I'd like to check it out and do some more exploration up here. So, we are back at the station. I'm gonna go in here and sit down and just relax, wait for my train. I've done enough walking for the day. I think uh, it's time to sit down and kick back and relax. This is the inside of the station. People just waiting for the train. These chairs are actually pretty cool. They're massage chairs. You can scan the armrest and select your massage. Most people don't do it, but every once in a while, if I've got a long wait, I'll do it, and it feels pretty good. But yeah, this is inside the Yanji station. And to finish up the day, I want to get a Korean beer. Now, I'm trying not to drink much these days, but I think this occasion calls for one, and I think I deserve it. I absolutely deserve it. So we're going to go over here to this little supermarket and see if they've got... Now, if they don't have a Korean brand beer, I'm not buying one. But I'm expecting they will. But we're going to find out. Well, that gives me excuse to not drink beer because uh, they had Budweiser and Harbin beer. And that's just not what this occasion calls for. I wanted a cast Korean beer. 
but that's okay. I'm better. My liver will thank me later. <laughs>